Greetings, this is Alaya from the star system of the Pleiades. In these days, you can read and hear a lot of channelings that are supposedly being from the galactic vibration of light. You have to know that most of them are not from us, but from other ETs who are not in service for the light. They use people who can channel, but who are not spiritual enough to see who they are channeling. They use our name so that you believe their misinformation. One of their tricks is to daze you with beautiful long stories, how beautiful the situation on earth is, and that you don't have to do anything or clear your inner blockades because it will clear by itself. They want you to stay in a dream state. They are using this trick especially for people who are not dazed by TV. They want you to stay in a waiting loop, not doing anything and waiting for them to do everything for you. Their channelings tell people for decades, the contact is near, we will come at that and that date, and for years nothing happened. People lost their time in waiting instead of working on their inner spiritual cleansing and growth. A good example for that you could see in October 2008. The Galactic Federation of Light would never do something like this. We would only land in masses on a planet when the majority of the population would invite us. This is a cosmic law. And if we come, everybody would know it. And every light worker would feel it because we are using telepathy. In our messages, we are always giving you wisdom to develop your consciousness and become a galactic human. Our informations are short and direct of what is most important. We are not talking for hours and hours about one thing. That is a waste of time and energy. We are never talking about any Earth state, because we know that the future is not a fixed thing and it's not depending on any date number on Earth. The future is changing in every second, according to the energy of thoughts and emotions of the majority of the Earth population. So, there are many possibilities for the future. And we don't have any file effects, diaries or calendars hanging on the wall to plan our actions. We act when the time, place, energy and cosmic laws are right. I told you before that as the energies are increasing, the linear thinking will not work and you have to use spherical thinking. Looking at the topic from many angles and from a higher point of view. You will have to use your intuition, your heart and your soul wisdom in order to understand life and the existence. Another thing that you have to remember is that those extraterrestrials who are not serving the light have also spaceships. With a developed heart and spiritual sensitivity, you can distinguish their ships from ours. It could be possible that one day you will have to do it. In case that there would be a big purification on Earth, we would evacuate people with our ships. And in a situation like this, the dark side would come with their ships too. And you have to know where to go on board. This is only a possibility. And with a spiritual mind and love in your heart, you are prepared for every situation. The transformation could happen anytime, if enough people would concentrate on their spiritual development. Also, the natural processes in the universe do not depend on any Earth calendar. They depend on spiritual energy and evolution. The existence does things when the time is right. And we from the Galactic Federation of Light are doing everything under the wise guidance of the existence. Watch your thoughts. In what future possibility are you putting your energy? Now you know why it is important to develop spirituality. Enough spiritual thoughts can create a spiritual future. Negative thoughts create an unpleasant future. So it is important to heal all blocking energies that you may have from other lives or from this life. 
erase limited thinking like you are too weak, not worthy enough to have abundance, missing self-love or missing self-esteem, hate, enviness or fear from something. All these thoughts are like a virus that is blocking you from developing yourself. But you can change that energy anytime in positive energy. And you don't need the permission from somebody else. It is only your decision. Thoughts and emotion are the cause of every creation. So think of that what you want and not of that what you don't want. So if you want to erase these blockades, let's make a short meditation to program yourself new. Sit relaxed and close your eyes. And now visualize a light vortex that is coming from the universe and it's filling your whole body. Feel this energy and breathe it in. Put your hands on your heart and visualize you are one with your soul. And now say to yourself, I am open to receive all the abundance of the existence. I allow my soul to heal and teach me with love. I am learning with joy. I am ready for wisdom. I use the wisdom of all my experiences for the good of all. I love myself. I am friendly and loving. I am healthy. I am brave. I am independent and make my own decisions. I take responsibility for my life. I am connected with a cosmic central consciousness. I use my talents in the service of the light. I have sympathy in my heart. I am thankful for all the good things in my life. I am giving and receiving love. I am living a life of love. I use love to transform any blocking energy. Love is the biggest power there is. Do these affirmations as often as you can to build up your energy and awareness. May the light of the existence enlighten your spirit. Adonai.